Do you prep at the thrift store? Hey everyone, welcome to Homestead Corner. I'm Jenny, and today I want to talk about prepping through thrift stores, church sales, estate sales, yard sales. There are so many things out there that people are getting rid of, and I think it's important for us to take advantage of that. Especially in this economy, it is difficult to get all of the supplies that we need because things are just so expensive. We really need to pay attention to every penny that we spend and how we're spending it. So I think it's really, really important to look around at those thrift stores, estate sales, a church sale, whatever you can find that's selling new and used items. And that you can really mop up on some good prepping supplies when you are checking out those sales and save a ton of money. I have gotten stuff for pennies on the dollar that were still in excellent condition. Some of it new with tags. So I want to share with you some of my favorite preps to look for at the thrift store. One of the things we love to look for is medical supplies. They can be quite pricey. I have gotten crutches for two, three dollars a pair, um, canes for a dollar. You can get foot, I see a lot of foot braces, arm braces, slings, things like that. If that's something you want to get into your preps, I think the thrift store is a great place to go. I have even seen brand new packages of bandages, gauze, things like that. So looking around and seeing what they have can really save you a ton of money. The next thing I love to get at thrift stores is cookware. When you are cooking outside, those thin pans are just not going to work. You need something heavy duty, and I love cast iron. That's all we use is cast iron and stainless steel on a regular basis anyway, but that cast iron is so good if you're cooking on a barbecue, an open fire, a gas grill, even over candles. It heats evenly and it just works really good and it can withstand those really high temperatures from the flame. And not just cast iron, those hand appliances are also absolutely wonderful. You can get the little hand mixers, um, all sorts of stuff, and juicers. I got a really nice juicer for $2 at a thrift store. I just love it and it is just a pull down simple metal juicer and it works perfectly for those citruses and there's no electricity. I love to look for um, small hand powered appliances so I can still make everything I need in the kitchen when the grid is down and I've got all the tools to do it. Blankets are another wonderful thing to grab from the thrift store. Sleeping bags can be extremely pricey and so can wool blankets. Both of those are pretty easy to find at thrift stores. I see them a lot in there, and you can get them, again, for pennies on the dollar. I see sleeping bags, $100, $200 in some of the um, camping and hiking stores and things like that. If you want something that goes to a really low temperature, minus 25 degrees is what we look for in bags because we live in a cold climate. But knowing how low the temperatures can go in your area can be helpful for you to be able to find things that are going to be warm enough. So I love sleeping bags. If we all got to cuddle together in one room and sleep in the living room or whatever, we can do that. We've got sleeping bags. Wool blankets are wonderful if you're going to bug out or anything like that because you can put them under you to help keep that moisture away from your body and also on top of you because wool is super warm and it sheds water. I love that. And an obvious one is clothing. There are so much clothing there. We've found a lot of brand new clothing with tags on. I think it is great to look for those um, off-season items that you really don't want to spend a ton of stuff on. Uh, you may not have a whole lot of winter weather in your area and you don't want to spend hundreds of dollars on a jacket. At the thrift store can be a wonderful place for under five dollars usually or ten depending on your thrift store some of them can be pricey i do understand that but looking around those estate sales and church sales can really be big savers i have seen uh, a lot of church sales that are 50 cents for clothing any clothing so if it's a sweater or you know a jacket winter boots 
50 cents is a good deal. So looking into all those different options, not just the thrift store, is a great way to go. The next thing is backpacks. If you need a backpack for a go bag or a bug out bag or any kind of emergency bag that you need to grab it and go, backpacks are wonderful because they're easy to throw on your back. And at the thrift store and yard sales and stuff, I have seen so many of them and I've gotten a bunch of backpacks. We get them there a lot because you can get a higher quality backpack for a lot cheaper of a price. And you want something that's sturdy and solid that's going to handle whatever you're going to be doing. Um, especially a bug out bag, you want that to be really sturdy. And, um, and your go bag, things like that, any of those emergency bags, you can get them there for usually just a couple of dollars and really good ones. And you don't need those tactical backpacks. They're cool. I like them too. But having just a regular backpack is going to help you, especially when you need to blend in. You do not want to look like you've got anything serious in there. You want it to look like just every other backpack that everyone else has. The next thing we love to get there is oil lanterns. I've seen these especially at estate sales and church sales. Um, I've seen them in the thrift stores, but they're usually a little more pricey. So hitting a church sale or a estate sale can be wonderful. Even yard sales, I've seen them for $2 for an old uh, oil lantern. And they not only give light, they also give off a good amount of heat. So if you're burning oil lanterns in your house, it's going to help keep it warm and lit when the grid is down. Another thing I see tons of at thrift stores is preserving supplies um, to preserve your food. I have I picked up a pressure canner for one of my friends for like $15, which was a super good deal. It was a really nice old canner. Um, she checked it all out, completely safe. She uses it all the time, and I love that. And there are so many things there, jars, you can get, you know, jelly cones, um, all kinds of strainers, things like that. Uh, even uh, we have seen a lot of window screens in some places. Maybe check like your Habitat for Humanity. They have a lot of stores around and you can get used window screens. If you hook those together, just lay them flat, you've got yourself a dehydrator in an emergency situation. They're perfect and those screens are usually only a buck a piece at the stores. I also love to grab candles there. You can get those big jar candles that are $20, $30 at the store for usually 2 to $5 at the thrift store. Even if they were burned for a couple minutes, it doesn't matter. You've got all that wax in there. Um, or if you just need a jar to put wax and stuff in, you can grab those there to make your own candles. Candles are wonderful for cooking, heating lighting, all sorts of stuff. I love having candles because they are extremely versatile and they can work in lots of situations. And another thing you're going to find tons of at these sales is board games and, you know, entertainment items especially. We want to make sure in a gr long-term grid-down situation, we've got some sort of entertainment. I have seen musical equipment. You can get guitars. We got a little... Um, drum that you can just beat on which is great for the kids for ourselves it just gives us a little something to do in that grid down situation and you know we can all get together as a family and do things together which is wonderful and when that grid is down it's sometimes you know you get challenged on keeping everybody busy and making sure there is some entertainment that doesn't involve electronics and my number one thing that I absolutely love to get there is books. There are so many books and they are so inexpensive. We have got cookbooks, how-to books, manuals, just tons of different stuff. Not tying books, um, survival books. I have seen just so many. Bibles, you name it, they have got all kinds of books. If you just dig through and look around, I am sure you're going to find something. There is just tons of options. Tools for carpentry, for all sorts of stuff, gardening. There are tons and tons of tools that you can find there. I've seen all kinds of stuff. We have gotten little hand drills, little saws, um, big shovels, all different sorts of stuff you can find, especially estate sales are excellent for tools. We like those, and 
Also, the thrift store, church sales, yard sales, you can find all kinds of stuff and really save a ton of money. Some of those tools can be quite pricey, especially we've gotten antique ones that are probably worth some money, but more valuable for use for us. And the last thing we love to grab at thrift stores and yard sales and things like that are is fabric and things to sew with, crochet, knitting, any of that. I've seen tons and tons of knitting needles, knitting looms. Um, you can just go wild with it, really. Lots of crochet hooks, tons of yarn. Our thrift store always has bins and bins of yarn. Um, really inexpensive. Sometimes you can get like a gallon bag just chocked full of yarn for $2.00 which is way cheaper than you can get it from the store. Sometimes they're brand new things of yarn, skeins, and sometimes they are not. But making sure that you have those things, if you've got to um, make anything, you know, you can crochet a sweater or a, a doily or whatever it is that you need. If you need warmer clothes, you can make them. Um, we like to get fabric there, though you can get huge like flannel sheets and flannel shirts, which is going to give you buttons and big pieces of flannel for all sorts of projects. Flannel is wonderful for cleaning rags, for all sorts of stuff. It's really warm. We really love to have a good amount of flannel around. And those really big shirts that are just sitting there, when you can get them for the same price as a small one, I go for the biggest flannel shirt I can find. You've got buttons, you've got good pieces of flannel, and you can make tons and tons of projects. So that is it for the things that I love to grab at the thrift store. Those are things I'm always looking for when I'm there. Um, either church sales, estate sales, yard sales, the thrift store, wherever it is that they are having a sale. We try to go out and check things out and just dig around because a lot of times the really good things are stuck behind something or underneath in the bottom of a basket or something like that. So digging around, I feel like it's just a treasure hunt and it's always fun. There are just so many things you can get there. And we have gotten tons of brand new items with the tags on them. Because I don't know about you, but I have definitely bought clothes that I saw it on the hanger and thought, oh my God, that's so cute. I want that. Get it home. And I look just like a dump truck in it it's awful but and you know just the shape of my body is not for that piece of clothing and so i will donate it to wherever or you know so someone else can at least use it and if i'm not going to wear it and we've all had those things i think but you know someone else's frame it may look absolutely stunning on but sometimes not for us <laughs> and that's it for today I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you next time. Bye.